Hi, this is Mike from Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and on today's video, just a quick one. If you're experiencing some weird problems with your PC, maybe there's too many processes backing up, maybe your system's slowing down a little bit, or maybe your processor just seems to be running a little warmer than usual, then potentially you could be affected by the latest of the Windows 11 bugs. Now, this has actually first started with the cumulative updates from October and November. So depending on which version of Windows you're on, uh, you may or may not be affected. Also, potentially, this may be fixed by the time the video goes out. So, yeah, do bear that in mind. Microsoft apparently are working on a fix, but at the moment, no fix is actually available for a download or as an update. So we have a workaround for the Task Manager bug. So essentially what this is, is Task Manager, which is a um, rather well-utilized program for most PC tinkerers, doesn't seem to shut down. So you open it up, you press on the X to close the program, and it appears that the program has closed, but it continues running in the background as a background process. Now, obviously, over time, if you use Task Manager frequently, this can mount up and give you lots and lots of additional processes running in the background, which can be hogging CPU resources, making your system hotter and basically less efficient and potentially even slower. So let's head over to the computer and we'll show you how to do a temporary fix. Okay, so here we are on our Windows 11 desktop. Now you can see the date there. So this is the 6th of November, 2025. And like I said, potentially there will be a fix for this very shortly from Microsoft. They do appear to be working on it. It is a known bug. So yeah, we'll see how that goes. But as you can see, I've got Task Manager open here. So if we go into the list of processes, you can see there is Task Manager. Nothing uh, unusual there. That is exactly what you'd expect to see, how much CPU resources it is actually using, etc. Now you'll also notice on the side I've got hardware monitor open, just monitoring our CPU temperatures. At the moment, the CPU does appear to be a little bit warmer than usual. The room actually is a little bit cooler today, but the CPU temps are just slightly higher. Most people would never notice this, but I'm a tinkerer, so it's one of those things that I do pick up on. And also some of our Discord members have also mentioned similar. So I thought I'd investigate a little bit further. So essentially what happens is you've got Task Manager open. You can see the task is running there. Close down Task Manager, absolutely fine. We'll try and open it again. So click on Task Manager. You can do that either from Alt, Control, Delete, or you can use Control, Shift, Escape, whichever way suits you. So if let's do the other method and it brings up exactly the same. So yeah, Task Manager still looks like it's just running one single task, which is absolutely fine. But if we scroll down, and it is alphabetical, so do bear with, scroll down and we can see Task Manager. Oh my goodness, there are lots of Task Manager tasks. Now, of course, each one of those has its own process ID and is running as an individual process and is using up memory. So each instance is using around about 22 to 24 megabytes of RAM, of course, that can mount up over time. So how do we get rid of it? Well, one of the ways you can do it is do it the old fashioned way, do it manually, right click on the task and choose end task. And it will end one task at a time. So clearly that isn't very uh, productive. It takes too much time. So what you can do is run a command. So we'll close that again. And if we open up this document, this will be in the video description. So you can copy and paste it yourself. So this is basically what we're going to need to run. So task kill space forward slash IM space task manager dot exe space forward slash F. And this essentially closes it down. So in order to run this command, if we go down to the start box there, type in command, find command prompt, right click, very important, and run as administrator. You'll get the user account control come up. So click on yes. Let's move that down a little bit and just simply copy and paste this command. So it looks a little something like that. Then press enter. And there you go. All the tasks have been terminated. You can see it's a success all the way through and all of the individual PIDs have been terminated. So now if we go back and open up the task manager again, again, we've got obviously one running because that is expected. And if we scroll down once again and have a look, so we find task manager. Yeah, there's no background tasks running. So it's only the one which is actually running currently. So there you go. There is a, uh, a sort of temporary fix or workaround, whether you just want to do end task or whether you want to kill all of the processes with this command. That choice is entirely up to you. You will notice, again, our CPU has dropped a little bit 
but not a great deal. So maybe it isn't building up any CPU heat, but it is taking extra resources, which for some people are a valuable commodity. So there we go, a relatively straightforward thing to do. Uh, copy and paste the command in and use the command prompt as administrator, and that should cure your problems. Let me know in the comments, have you experienced this or have you not noticed it? And now after watching this video, you're gonna take a look and see how many task manager instances you've actually got running on your system. Let me know in the comment section. If you're someone who keeps your PC running all the time, 24 seven, maybe you've got a whole bunch of those totted up. Let's see who can get the most tasks in the comment section. So I think it's gonna pretty much wrap this one up. Hopefully you've enjoyed the video. If you have, smash that like button. If you wanna see more content like this on a daily basis, maybe consider hitting subscribe and also that chime notification. That way you'll be notified of future video releases. But for now, I've been Mike. This is Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and hopefully we'll catch you in the very next video. Thanks for watching.